Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I would uh, show you an update on this uh, Star Trek ship, and I've been working on it a lot the last uh, couple days. Uh, a lot of things. Um, this is the old version. I just wanted to show you a bit of a recap on some of the things that I was uh, getting. Uh, I wanted to do. Uh, one is I wanted to clean up this block mess I had over here. Just looks really bad compared to the rest of it. So that was one of my target. Uh, whole improvement things uh, and some tweaks and texture changes and some uh, fixing uh, things in places but I didn't do a whole lot to the hull overall um, now the interior uh, let me just show you uh, what it looked like before um, so this this was the hanger I showed on the last video um, Basically, I, I did another round of detail to it on the on the newer version. I'll show you in just a second here, and I didn't explain what these little doors are over here. Uh, basically, I, I had a little bit of extra space, and I figured, well, uh, you could put in like a one by three block area in these locations to uh, if someone wanted to place some uh, uh, one by three generators or whatever in there. Um, also. Uh, I was coming up to the, uh, the this front of the uh, the hangar here, and I had this uh, well not there that's not a very good view. Had this hideous mess of junk back here. I got, had some you know I had a couple sealed parts in here, a bunch of cargo extensions, xeno blocks going to the middle. Really awkward uh, space to do much of anything with. Um, so I wanted to address all that and finish up the entire neck and then start getting into the saucer, which I have done. It's, I've got a lot of new rooms. Well, quite a few new rooms and layouts, and I've been going through the existing rooms, tweaking them. One last room before I show, uh, so this is how this area looked as well uh, on the last video. Um, kind of see what uh, is going on here, the general decor. Um, I try to enhance this area as well, um, and also that lower room. I won't show that, it wasn't that big of a deal there. Um, so on the new one, um, to start with on those uh, cosmetic things, um, I did replace the, the, the block work over in that section. Went with a smoother approach, uh, a little bit brighter. I think it, it's more fitting. It goes with the rest of the uh, general look of the, uh, the saucer and the, the, the ship. Um, little little cleanups, little little texture changes here and there, but uh, very, very minor. So let's start here with the hangar, and then I'll kind of work my way up the ship and show you, uh, and then get to all the, uh, the, the new areas and... Uh, uh, planned areas and layout stuff. So in the hangar here, I did some block work around these doors. I uh, changed like the one block right before it and, and kind of made this black line um, that kind of looks like it meets up with the bottom of the, the louver doors and changed how the louver doors were uh, positioned. I uh, did some more texture cleanup on the inside. Uh, I noticed the, uh, the front here is, uh, I kind of <clears throat> recessed this door back over here. And you got these little side uh, uh, windows here looking in some, like, more ship space. Uh, uh, w one of the things that I, I was really, really astonishingly happy about was just a small thing. As I, as I changed the texture on these front blocks below this fake, like, bottom hanger floor thing. And uh, it makes those little, like, white lights in there. And I thought that it was just so neat when you, like, go over here, you see that little bit of light stick through there. I tried it also with uh, like the uh, the highlight color or the uh, the red or orange or um, color, <clears throat> and it looks really good that way. Except you see them a little bit more on the bottom side, so I kind of just stuck to the uh, the, the the darker white look there. Um, now something else I did is play with the lighting in this room, um, and uh, the effect I w it's an illusion, um, but like this texture light, this big texture light here kind of looks like it's lighting up the area where it's pointing, um, even though the light over here is actually doing it. <clears throat> but it's an illusion. I was trying to make, like, the lights in here look like they're actually, or the texture lights are actually, like, making light is the kind of kind of the illusion I wanted to do. And I, I got the same thing going on up over here. Like, you got these two big texture lights, and then the area of the floor is more lit there, which is actually being done by other lights, again, but... <clears throat> It's kind of kind of what I was going at after, and I added like another little light over here. I also changed the the uh, the, the top of the hanger. I got rid of two of these uh, uh, cut-ins over here, and I added this this roundy feature thingy over there just to break it up a little bit. I had too much of a repeating pattern of this going on, 
And then this is all cargo extensions up there too. So I actually utilize the cargo extension textures to try to make it look all technical up there. A lot of parts and things. Um, so on the side rooms, these aren't much. I mean, uh, this was, uh, they're not really holding much of anything. I, I put some boxes in there because they're, they're, they're detailed. But I think on one of these two sides here, I'm going to put in a, uh, a cockpit. And this will be essentially what I uh, spoke of before and kind of forgot about was the uh, a pocket, or uh, I like to call it a, a pocket cockpit. <laughs> so if you're down in here and you start getting attacked, you can like run on, run into like uh, one of these doors over here and uh, like jump in the pilot seat and like, you know, do your thing, you know. So um, you got a couple of these little side rooms on the side, no big deal. So, uh, new feature, uh, first time ever for me. Uh, I, I've been seeing it on other people's creations, and it was an awesome idea. I had to do it, especially on this ship, since I'm really trying to go psycho on it. Um, so, yeah, we got uh, LCDs from the inside of the, uh, the entire elevator system here. Um, with uh, tells you what deck you're on, tells you what's kind of there. Um, I've got more room to add in stuff, and some of the words might change. You know, I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> um, so we got like our, uh, our front entry, our ready room. This got modified a little bit too. I set up a, uh, a circuit for uh, opening up this door. So now you got to walk on the, uh, the front two blocks of it, um, to, uh, get this going. I added some little, uh, blinky lights, uh, when, when the door is open before it was, uh, on the last time I showed you, it would just open as soon as you entered the room. So, and then I, uh, fixed up a little bit of the textures in here too. No big deal there. Uh, let's go up to, uh, let's see, hangar fuel rooms. We've just been through there. Let's go to the uh, this room here. we got our shield banks and gravity generator. So this is that crap area that I was just showing you. Um, and I really spent a lot of time with this. I mean, I was dealing with some really awkward space and stuff in a lot of different blocks, some Xeno, some cargo extensions, uh, all different kinds of textures. And I'm utilizing, like, everything, though. Um, in fact, I think this ship... Of all ships that I made, probably besides the uh, MCRN Leviathan, which had a lot of other authors uh, contribute to that ship, and uh, it probably uses the most amount of textures I've ever used in a single creation on this on this one. Um, so I mean, it's utilized in Xeno textures, cargo cargo extension textures, uh, textures I didn't previously use much at all, like this here. I just thought that looked really neat, like how how the, the lines look on the on the floor um I, I made it really extra busy right up here too because that is visible from the uh the the space down at the hangar and i thought it looked kind of neat being all like uh pipey and stuff like that <laughs> so this basically doesn't these rooms over here don't do a whole heck of a lot they hold uh more shield parts and then i've got the gravity generator over here um, and then I've got, uh, at X, I've got offline protection in here too. I'll probably, uh, remove that before I, uh, release the ship, but it's got a home for it at least. Um, so not, not too much going on here. Uh, ventilating this room, uh, in a different way, and I love the way I'm doing it. Um, this is a two-way ventilator again, kind of like, uh, one I've got in another room in the ship. So it actually, uh, is the, uh, the ceiling ventilator of this room and the floor ventilator for this room. So... I could put those on the same, like, oxygen thing, which is totally fine. I mean, this is a space that you're not going to be going to for any particular reason, I don't think. It's uh, just to check it out. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then um, <clears throat> a little uh, tweak over here, looking through this uh, weird little window here. It's just blue stuff in here. Um, and I'm not actually, I didn't put another light in here. This is actually a light that bleeds through from the uh, lights uh, on the front here. Um, and it just makes that area blue. I was just going to fill it in and I'm like, ah, oh, no, let's not fill it in. Let's, let's see if we can make it look like something. So there you go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so next, ne next room. So this, this area I, uh, revised quite a bit. Um, this was that uh, section I just showed you on the, on the previous version. Basically I brightened it up, try to make it look a little bit more modern. Um, changed some of the blocks around, added a lot of little detail-y things in places, uh, like just little simple things like a couple of little blocks here in front of there to make it look like some kind of frame piece or something. Um, little caution tape stuff, uh, just a little bit brighter, a little bit more cheery. My favorite uh, addition to this room was actually this glass window on the floor that uh, peers down to that deck we just walked through below there. 
thought that that was kind of neat. And they even added like a little glowy on the top that you won't see from down there, but you see from the uh, the window above. Um, this this room space over here where these other uh, parts are, I have not uh, changed at all. Um, so this is exactly how it was. Uh, so let's go on. We we haven't been to any new parts yet. We're we're getting there. <laughs> um, so neck entry, uh, I'll probably change the wording there. I don't like my name. A lot of these words could change. So I just cleaned that up a little bit. No big deal there. That just goes off the back of the ship. Um, this room is uh, I is also untouched. I showed this on the last video. It was the uh, the room you could see through the uh, the windows with more uh, shield parts and stuff like that in here. Um, not much going on there. Um, all right, so now we're up to the uh, the, the saucer section. Um, the the top two decks are saucer section. So that is a little bit of a change on what I was thinking. Um, the more I've been building out interior space, it appears the more space I have, which is really cool, really cool, I will say. So uh, new secure bridge. Um, I this particular uh, the only the only uh, entry off the entire elevator that has like this little. Uh, foyer, I guess you could say. And I did that because I got a sensor in here and I didn't want it to trip when you go up and down the uh, the elevator. It would have been really, really annoying. But when you walk over here, it opens up three doors here. You got a blast door surrounded by two regular doors. And this and this is the, uh, the secure bridge right now. I don't have LCDs on the front or anything. Um, dealing with uh, different textures and uh, materials in this area too. There's some Xeno across the front and the back and going right up through the center. Um, and then hardened steel in all the other uh, immediate blocks uh, in this area. So the door just kind of opens up like that. And uh, I'm just, you know, obviously another texture that I wouldn't normally use. This is one of the, uh, just, just a lot of different stuff in there. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can kind of see what this looks like. Now, as in the saucer itself, it's uh, most of it now has two decks, um, not just part of the area like I originally planned on doing, but most of it now has two decks. Um, and uh, it's largely asymmetrical. Um, and in fact, most of it's asymmetrical in the saucer section. Um, the, but there's parts of uh, parts in symmetry. Obviously, this room's uh, symmetrical. Um, but you come out this side, and this is... Uh, You've got like another pseudo uh, production area. I wanted to add in uh, two more uh, 320k storage bays, so I got those in place. But when I was doing it, I was like, oh, I might as well leave room in case you want to plunk down a couple more constructors or deconstructors or something in the area. Um, and okay, so now we're getting to uh, a lot of unfinished part. Now I've got another done up room upstairs as well and a lot of layouts going on so as in layouts this is one of the core rooms this is the basic core room so in other words uh this this room here it's, it's extra kind of hardened around here but it's also located in a place in the ship that there's nothing around it um, and that is my biggest protection for core rooms um i don't want to put a main cpu core next to it either because that'll attract the ai to shoot that direction and um to keep these safer, I'm just trying to like, you know, there's no guns around here, there's no thrusters, there's there's nothing the AI would want to shoot at unless they specifically target CPU cores. And I hope they, I don't think they do that. Um, so this is basically just holding all the basic CPU cores. Like, yeah, obviously everything going down this way is unfinished. Um, so as in layout, this is uh, again the, the lower deck here. Um, this, this, don't mind what this looks like now. It's going to change drastically. This is going to be the med bay. I figure that's kind of neat right off from, uh, right off from, not too far from your main elevator coming up um, and near this upper production area or storage area. So basic CPU core there. Uh, uh, med bay. Um, let's go around. Uh, crossed over here. I got a lot of space here. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, it's, it's it's got a low ceiling, um, which is fine, and I think uh, the hollow deck is probably going to be somewhere in this area, or maybe part of this area. Um, on the other side over here, it's a little bit different, and this is probably going to be like a mess hall, um, or something like that over over here. Then over here we have uh, the upper engineering area. Now this is obviously completely different on the other side of the ship there. Uh, so I got the warp core in here. This is going to have an upper gravity generator. I did need a second uh, as that gravity generator there uh, could not hit 
the front section of the saucer. Um, so I need another one up here. But uh, if I just had one up here, then, then it wouldn't get the back of the hangar. So I had to have two gravity generators regardless. Um, so, yeah, we've got our uh, warp drive, taxi tank, uh, and shield over in this uh, location here. And obviously it's just kind of blocked out. i got to texture it and light it and do all the, th all the, all the stuff to it yet. And then the, uh, yeah, the other gravity generator goes here. Uh, I just haven't placed that yet. Um, so, yeah, beyond that area, then you've got these two walkways that had to go up like a half, half floor here. And this is where you're going to have the big wraparound hallway and all the crew rooms that double as solar panel and placement areas. And this is here. I'll get a light on. Um, this uh, hallway, which I don't have plotted out yet, but it's, it's going to work. Um, it will wrap around kind of like in a big half circle all the way around here, meeting up to the, uh, the hallway that passes straight through going this direction past all the uh, other facilities on this deck. Um, so with that being said, let's 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 go let's go up another floor here, um, or another deck. So uh, here we have a transporter room or a teleporter room, I should say. Obviously, it's a pretty big area for to hold a single um, teleporter, <laughs> for sure. And uh, yeah, but it, it works. Um, uh, this is first run on this room, so I'm going to probably try to enhance it. Um, I'm doing the same thing. This actually lines up to the windows uh, coming off the back of the hall. And if you get within a couple blocks from it, it'll light that room up. But it's a little, uh, I got to work on it. I got to work on it. It needs, uh, I got like the base texturing and the general texturing done, but I, I just want to just find ways to uh, enhance the looks a little bit. Um, a little bit beyond where it is even the hallways coming out of here are both different like if you look at how it goes off from this side versus this side it's different um, over here uh, again in a very out of the way area of the ship also reinforced this is going to uh, be where the quantum core auxiliary core hamster core uh, room is going to be here um, obviously unfinished just kind of mapped out right now we take this hallway through it's going to pass by uh, the second floor of this uh, big fusion reactor in the middle which will be kind of visible I'll try to make a display of it from various points of view uh, got a little bit more room space over here not sure what to do with that one yet um, get the light back on and then we come on to the uh, the saucer section or the uh, the main bridge area here and I want and I got a little bit more room here and this is also connects to where that first person view is um, so this is, I'm going to try to make it uh, more reminiscent to that of, uh, you know, your, your bridge in the, uh, the Star Trek uh, movies and things like that um, shows. So um, kind of a, a roundest type of thing. It's going to have a, a way in um, both sides over here. And then probably, probably also a staircase that goes down to the, uh, the lower deck over on the sides on the front. Um, and then in front of this, obviously, when you're walking around this big crew area, um, there'll be a bunch of different rooms, maybe some other rooms besides crew rooms, too, um, maybe a couple. And I plan on doing all these rooms asymmetrically. I'll, I'll do the hallway symmetrically, so it's nice and, you know, kind of like roundish coming through here. But every uh, beyond that, I'll turn off symmetry, and I'll just build out each space as its own space, and it'll be unique from left to right. Um, and even, even where the doors or rooms are even located. In this very front section here, I did, uh, I, it's still got some Xeno, um, but I, I, I did lower down the thickness of it. It's not quite as thick as it once was, uh, but it still does have a protective layer there of uh, Xeno across the front and, you know, certain, certain spots. But it's just, I minimized it. It's not as much as there as what I had before. Um, up here, uh, captain's quarters, officer quarters, uh, rooms. Um, in this area, they also have a nice two-block uh, ceiling height in these uh, in this space, which is kind of nice. Get a lot of uh, useful stuff in this this area. Um, uh, so, oh yeah, the hollow deck also uh, that was going to go the, on the floor below here. Although you know, I got a lot of room. Um, I wanted a mess hall. Uh, yeah, you know, no, no, the hollow deck. I think I was going to put there. Never mind. I think I said that already. Um, and so that's that's pretty much the uh, the layout of what I've got going on so far. Now, one last thing, I edited another feature based on a comment. Uh, it was uh, wouldn't it be cool if you had like uh, you know like a emergency lighting 
in the, in the ship, and I was like, yeah, you know, that would really be pretty cool. Um, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. So um, uh, I got this battle mode thing right now. So if you turn this on, basically it, it turns on a bunch of extra lights, which are red, red like lights um, throughout the different decks like this. Um, just, uh, I didn't actually put a separate light in this room, but it, it turns redder when I turn that on because of nearby lights in these other areas. So basically you have uh, a difference in lighting if you, if you go into like a battle mode. Uh, I'll try to get more of these battle mode lights uh, placed throughout the, uh, the, cre the creation here. Um, and even, even when you get into the other side of the, uh, the secure bridge, uh, battle mode light, and it's totally different from this side to that side. Um, again, everything's pretty much uh, going to be asymmetrical beyond this point. Of uh, This room's symmetrical, a couple of the hallways are symmetrical, but the rest of the rooms aren't going to be uh, really. I think, well, probably this central, this central area here will obviously be uh, symmetrical, but the rooms down all the way around all the edges and stuff will be unique, every one of them. So I, I, I think that that'll be kind of neat. I might as well put that extra uh, time into it. I, you know, I'm trying not to compromise on anything on the ship. Um, and uh, yeah, just trying to fix up a lot of stuff. Now, a couple of things from the last video too, I was just kind of looking at comments and uh, someone uh, I think misunderstood what I was saying, or maybe I didn't say it very good, but uh, it's basically I should uh, like, like learn the replace block command. And I, basically that's, that's what I did. And I was just trying to explain on the last video on what I did to these, uh, uh, I got to get the term right, uh, nacelle pillars, I believe they're called. I, th I think someone corrected me on that. I was calling them arms. Um, so I, ju just to explain what I did do again is yes, I did use the replace block commands, um, but I had to separate all these blocks from the rest of the ship because I did not want to uh, change the entire hull of the ship to carbon substrate, but I just wanted to change this part of the ship to carbon substrate. So I had to copy it off from the, the other ship, put it on a different uh, core or another like a CV core, paste it here, and then I, I hopped in the console and then I did like a, a series of a, just like eight or nine replace block commands um, to bring it from hardened steel to carbon substrate um, uh, and every different type, you know, like there's extended and extended you know, like uh, two and three and four and five and six and the uh, thin blocks and the full blocks and, the, and all that stuff. So basically every one of those to convert anything that might have been on these to carbon substrate. Then after that, I copy this whole section back and then paste it back onto the other thing now that it's all converted to carbon substrate. And I didn't have to replace or, you know, retexture or do anything at all. And the whole process maybe took five minutes. So it was, it was actually pretty quick. But I, I had to do that because if I just went over to the ship here and started typing in replace block commands, it would have replaced all the hull blocks of the entire ship to hardened steel, or I'm sorry, to carbon substrate, which I did not want to do. I only wanted to do... A small chunk of it which was neat enough that it was separated enough that I could copy that chunk away to in and, and then do it separately um, now I don't have a, oh yeah one sec you can really see that I don't have these uh, this, these battle mode lights uh, they won't turn off automatically I think when you turn those on they'll, they'll stay on until you hit this hit a switch or hit the P menu option again so that is uh, that is kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm kind of a lot of planning stages yet, but I, I think you know all the hard areas or the harder uh, things I was most worried about, like all this fuggliness in the in the neck and stuff like that, and where I'm going to put everything, is pretty much all solved now. Um, and as I keep on building the interior, the interior just seems bigger. Um, and it's just, I got a lot more space now than I, than I once had, um, or once thought I had, I think, you know, in combination with, uh, trying to make these, a lot of these, uh, floor spaces smaller. And that is something I've been learning too. Um, past ships, uh, a lot of them had extra tall ceilings all over the place. Um, and this one, it's, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep it a little more realistic, you know, where, you know, there are some taller areas, but a lot of these uh, the, these room spaces aren't going to have, like, these blazingly tall, like, you know, 20-foot uh, ceilings on them. Some some areas, like like here, you can have some some room, but um, there's a lot you can do in a, in a single, like, floor block space, especially when you can cut into the ceiling and, and the walls and, and stuff and use uh, thinner blocks there. 
So, and I, I like the idea of, of having like the hallways and everything kind of going around in a, like a, at least in this case, like a half circle formation around the, uh, the central saucer area. Um, that's how it's typically done in the, uh, the Star Trek ships. Um, and I'm trying to take that same idea and kind of doing it here from what I can. And I also like the idea of like being like asymmetrical on all this stuff over here. Obviously, it would be it would be a time saver for sure just to uh, you know turn on symmetry and have it uh, the same right to left. But um, a lot more neat if I didn't do that. And, I, <clears throat> and this one here, you know, I'm yeah. This this is it, it's my it's my new baby here. I'm putting my heart and soul in it, and uh, I'm trying to not compromise on anything. Um, so if yeah, if I build a whole bunch more in asymmetric, uh, asymmetrically speaking, um, I think it'll be nicer. It'll be neater to walk through. Um, more to see. Um, rather, I you know, and most ships I don't do that too. I mean a little bit here and there. I've been getting a little bit better with trying to uh, add in that asymmetrical stuff on a non-asymmetrical ship, but um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and I like building these little room spaces um, and really just trying to take take a lot of time with it and just really figure things out and try to engineer it the best way I can to, to you know, not fry people. Well, I'll, there's there's hot rooms in these ships, but they're all like these engineering sections and stuff um, that uh, will probably have some form of warning sign before you get to them as well. Um, so that is where I'm at. I just wanted to kind of run everything by you and, uh, uh, yeah, really happy about that. Uh, there's one other comment um, I got. I didn't quite understand it. It was basically uh, I, I need to post a, a link to this ship on the Steam Workshop, and it, I, I, it's not done. Uh, the videos, uh, the, the, the WIP on the videos, that, that's just short for work in progress. It's not done. It's not on the workshop. It, it will be there when I'm done with it, um, and I don't exactly know when that's going to be. I'm uh, you know, I just keep on trudging away at it, and uh, and I did want to do some testing. It's also brought up too that I, you know, I'm not 100% sure I got to test to see if these uh, launchers will be able to fire through an open blast door. They used to be able to do that. Um, I uh, actually did that on a previous ship, and uh, they did work. And I think that the uh, Tribuchet um, had had that same setup, and uh, it, it did work. I just I hope it still works. I obviously found that bug where if you're uh, running, uh, you, you can't seem to shoot through a blast door with a handgun, uh, while uh, you know on foot basically with whatever weapon you've got, um, and, th and that that that's where the problem was. But I will uh, I will find that out, and I hope I hope it works because I don't want I like the blast doors in place not so much because they're like blast doors, but because it hides holes. Um, that I can't do very well without a blast door. Um, I could put in a louver door there, but it, you still got the hole. It doesn't look near as good as the blast doors. Um, and that's primarily why I want the blast doors there. It com completely conceals um, all those weapons, all those uh, big turrets. And you don't, don't got big turret things like, or I'm sorry, launcher uh, things sticking out of the ship especially down in this area um <clears throat> in comments i thought i covered on the last video too but i also got to basically move the launches forward so i could put in you know uh, bring it back to eight um i tried that and then i thought it looked i thought it looked ugly i thought it looked really ugly first you you lost all the blast doors because you couldn't fit those anymore so you had these eight holes going in here and then you had um when the when the launchers were on you'd had the launchers sticking out about th uh, three blocks uh from this section which just looked really really bad for a star trek ship it just i was like ah, that looks dumb and that's that's why i uh repositioned the uh, the launchers instead of doing that that other idea works and it would have protected the elevator and and, and uh, fixed up the uh the air problem i had and the uh vulnerability problem there but it it didn't look good um in my opinion that's that's why i abandoned that idea now i have one other idea um, and I don't know if I'm, gonna, I, I'm not sure I, I could do this, but I, I kind of in a way don't want to either. Um, uh, one idea to get a couple, couple more launchers or, or actually remove, uh, the center launchers that are in here. So I could have the block separation around the, uh, the four artillery launchers there. Um, and then put uh, two per side, kind of like build up this, this thing a little bit, uh, more. So you'd have a hidden launcher like sitting here 
and then some more block work, you know, uh, uh, concealing that. Um, and then having the launchers kind of uh, positioned in that in that spot. I think that would work. Uh, the only thing is I would have to uh, get rid of the, uh, the turrets I've got in this general location or move them around a little bit or something like that. Otherwise it would block, uh, it would block the launchers. Um, or the other alternative would be to uh, take the launchers down two blocks, but then you got this big thing hanging there that I don't think would look very good. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence with that one. I, I haven't really uh, tried that idea out to see how it would work out. Um, yeah, I, I know it would work, but I just don't know if, I don't know if it really needs it. it. It's still, it's still even even with two launchers less, it's still got 14 launchers on on the ship. So it's not it's not drastically cut down, um, and it does have a lot of turrets. And speaking of turrets too, um, I could I was looking around. You know, since I expanded the uh, the size of the saucer a couple times when I was building it, I do technically have more positions where I could put in some good viable, uh, good good sight turrets like this turret could move out a block over this way and then I could I could slap in another turret that would have full line of sight um, over here so I can up up the turret count I could also probably add in a couple more turrets along the saucer edges here I could put in a, another turret over here uh, there's there's quite a lot of places especially around the saucer that I could add more turrets to um, again I don't want to go crazy with it um, and since I'm using retractable, I pretty much got to keep all these turrets in here stock. So whatever I add is going to make it more expensive. Um, so just keep that in mind too. But yeah, it does it does definitely have room for more turret positions, um, especially a lot of places. Even on the top side of the saucer, I could definitely get some more turrets in there. Um, I just don't know, you know, if I want to or not. Um, I'm pretty content with the number of turrets it's got right now. But you know, what's another like? four turrets or something is probably not not a bad thing either so anyway that that's uh that's all i've got today and i'll be uh trying to jam on this uh more today i'm also going to try to play on the server a little bit today uh I, I didn't play all weekend again because i was like glued glued to this ship like every waking moment of spare time i had i've been working on the ship and one last thing too i'm um, sort of like the, the 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 youtube video comments i am really behind on all other comments whether in Discord or Steam, I am drastically behind right now. I'm going to have to spend like a, ha a while some someday and, and really try to catch up on that. So if you're trying to say uh, get a hold of me or, or present me some information or or whatever, um, I'm sure I haven't responded in a while. Uh, I got to I gotta get better with that. It's just it's, uh, sometimes it can take a lot of time, and I'm, I've been uh, so focused on this that I'm just – trying to ignore the rest of the world until I can get this going. <laughs> so uh, I, I will get to it. Um, um, maybe, maybe today I'll try to spend a little time and, and uh, take a look at some comments and, and, uh, and stuff. I, I know uh, a lot of these comments are very useful too. They might tell me like a bug on one thing or, you know, like, uh, or maybe take a look at uh, another creation for ideas and stuff like that. And I haven't, I haven't been responding lately. I apologize. Uh, I just want to say that. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for today, and uh, probably a couple days uh, from now, I'll have, hopefully I have another update. Hopefully I'll get a lot more of this uh, saucer area revved up and who knows what else. Anyway, you all have yourself a great day. I will talk to you later.